Matt Ryan is Constantine. He's in the, he is a legend this season, right? Mm -hmm. um, not quite yet. Reluctantly, yeah. Yeah, how do we get him on board and how does he change up the team? He's got such a unique personality. He's got he's got a lot of baggage too, I think, that is gonna end up uh, causing us all some issues. Um, but we need him. I mean, he's, he's like a magic, what is it, warlock? He's yeah. a warlock. Yeah. Uh, and we're dealing with magical creatures now, and we we need somebody who knows how to how to deal with these things. So we we definitely need him on the team. But he's not the easiest uh, easiest guy to work with. No, I can't imagine Mick and him are going to be the best of friends. No, they're definitely not. Yeah, that'll yeah. be that'll be fun for Dominic. Okay, so Sarah and Constantine, I sort of feel like they both you know have a lot of similarities. I'm curious if that makes them better at working together as this grows on beyond what we've previously seen them do or if you know they both have such dark sides to them if that could cause quite a bit of trouble they've you both know, been possessed yeah yeah <laughs> and and i think they both kind of sarah's working on her like negative outlook uh she's done a lot to like become more positive and be able to put herself out there, connect with people, need people. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, Constantine is is like, mm-mm, you're just like me. Like, you're on the dark side. So that, that might present some issues later on. Speaking of Sarah trying to put herself out there, how are things with Ava this season? They're going pretty good. Okay. Yeah, there is a lot of fun Ava Lance stuff this season that I think people are going to like a lot. Uh, we're shooting a scene on Thursday that that is very very cool I don't know how much I can say but there's like a little bit of a Mr. and Mrs. Smith vibe oh or Mrs. and Mrs. Smith vibe are we gonna get to see Ava explore more of who she is because obviously we learned her past last season which was a huge shocker and just kind of her getting to sort of figure out who she is after learning this crazy secret yeah, I think a lot of her stuff so far has been on like a professional level and trying to, there's a lot of changes at the Time Bureau. Okay. Um, and uh -oh. then, you know, with, with the legend, so it's trying to manage that, but I do, I hope we dive into that stuff. I don't want my girlfriend to be sad that she's a clone. Is there any like hope in hell that Sarah will actually be in the real crossover? You've been in all of them. In the season, uh, there's no Legends crossover action. No Legends crossover. We're, we're just going to have to do our own uh, type of crossover. I read that in TV Line. They reported that one of your producers said you guys are crossing over with yourselves. <laughs> so does that mean double duty for you're, everybody? You're going to see just like um, some different versions of of us. That it's our. It's like a wild episode. It's It's pretty crazy. I think people will like it. Um, dashing our hopes, though, that you would cross uh, at least have scenes with Ruby Rose, and that would be yeah, mm, not this, not this crossover. Her suit is pretty cool, though. I like. It's pretty I, cool. I want to see the white canary and yeah, Batwoman. I kind of want to like try on her suit. I, it looks really cool. I was like, I just want to put this on. Do you? Can know? I borrow this for Halloween? Do you know where it is? Can you get to it? <laughs> I know. I'll be like, hey, Ruby, you know, just let me come over to your trailer and try your costume on.